friends. Welcome to my third coffee chat, where we just sit and have coffee and talk about some big ideas. Um, you know, I, the saga of the chickens, I was telling you about how the chicken laid an egg right in the middle of the yard, the chicken yard, because I was cleaning out the, the hen house. But now the latest thing that's happened with my chickens is they, it's the fifth day in a row and they have not laid one egg. Now, I checked, you know, I've been Googling and searching online, <clears throat> and I made sure, you know, I'm feeding them sunflower seeds, cracked corn, I'm giving them veggies from the kitchen, veggie scraps, I'm giving them um, little pieces of tortilla and or bread. So they have a variety of proteins and foods to eat. And the turkeys, of course, come in, and the deer come in, and all the little chickadees and the birds come in and and eat their food. They kind of wait sometimes until after I've gone, and then they go in there, tiptoe in there, fly over, or jump over, <laughs> and um, get into the food. So I thought, well, maybe my chickens are getting stressed out. And there's too much company sharing all their food. So what I did is I changed it up a little bit and I started now, instead of putting all the corn and sunflower seeds in one area, I throw it out into the yard so that it's spread out all over and then the turkeys aren't right there by the door where they, um, to, the, to the chicken house. And they're further away because my chickens were starting to migrate into the chicken house when all those turkeys came because they are big. <clears throat> so another thought I had was, well, I need to encourage my chickens to, to, to um, lay more eggs and to start laying again. So I thought, well, I could give them some affirmative chicken art. So I started painting and I, um, Came up with some artwork for him to put in the chicken house and I was talking to my friend last night and she told me that there's this show on HGTV where this guy it's called the farmhouse fixer and the guy um, puts up chicken wallpaper <laughs> I thought well thank goodness I'm not the only one that thinks like this but, um, so I got busy and started learning to draw some chickens and roosters. And um, I've always liked pictures of eggs. So I'm gonna put, be putting those up in the chicken house. But then I got to thinking, I went out there and I had some tacks and it wasn't quite, I couldn't quite push them in. So I have to get a nail, uh, uh, little tacks and maybe a hammer to put them in. And I thought, well, maybe if I get really good at this, some people will be interested in buying some prints. So let me know if that's something you would like to do. I'm all, I do love the little triangle shape of the, the hens and they're so darn cute when they're eating. And I've always loved the egg plates, so I'm working on those. And then, um, you know, some cute sayings that, um, I don't know, would you put that in your chi in your kitchen? No. Today I'm gonna make three bean salad and it's something that I always make for my kids. They always request it when they come. I've been making it for them since they were little. It's easy to make. You just take green beans, garbanzo beans, and kidney beans in the cans, drain them, mix it together, salt and pepper or garlic salt, little sweet basil, and I use red wine vinegar and olive oil. And mix it up and it lasts for quite a long time. You can put it on top of cottage cheese, you can put it on top of your salads, and or you can just eat it by itself, as which I like to have it for a healthy snack. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make that. So I was trying to figure out why am I why are my hens not laying eggs? And, um, you know, going on five now. Today's the sixth day. And I just thought 
well, maybe somebody's stealing the eggs. And I was up for like three or four hours the other night trying to figure out what is going on with my chickens and why aren't they laying. So I thought, well, I could put a big padlock on there or put a big sign that says, keep out. But then I thought, no, because that'll, then they'll know. Whoever's stealing the eggs will know that I'm on to them. So what I did was I took an egg out of my refrigerator and put it into one of the nests. And I do keep um, little, I keep little porcelain eggs in there to help them, encourage them to lay eggs. I heard that works. So the little brown eggs that are in there are porcelain eggs that I leave in there all the time. But I put a fresh egg from the fridge in there to see if it was going to disappear, whether it was a snake, a lizard, a human, a mouse. I don't know what could be stealing eggs from my chicken coop. My cut flower garden is in the last throes of its bloom and I'm about to take it all out and plant something that we can eat for my next season of planting. And we're in mid-September now and the weather's starting to cool so I'm learning, you know, I can plant some root vegetables and some brassica and um, some lettuces which will be really nice. So I cut the flowers and you know I noticed there were some weeds growing next to my flowers outside of the uh, raised bed and I thought wow I'm gonna add those to my floral arrangement and see if it gives it more volume and picks up a little height to my to my arrangement so that's what I did and um, you know I just I like to think that everything has a purpose even the tomato worms have taught me well you know because they eat all the leaves off of the plant and leave these bare branches and I cut them off and I end up pruning my tomato plants and then what do you know I get bigger tomatoes who knew so I, yesterday we had a vac evacuation notice for a fire that was about just right across the street, down the road. And um, so we were on alert. So I called my cousins who originally lived in this house where I'm at now and she left me the chickens and I called her and talked to her. And I said, you know, my chickens haven't been laying any eggs. What's going on, you know? She goes, well, sometimes they stop laying when the weather changes. So it went from 112 degree weather last Wednesday to today it's in the 80s. So that's like almost 40 degrees different. So they must have sensed it and they just haven't been laying eggs. So I just have to be patient and wait. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed our coffee chat and maybe I had some tips there that you could use and leave me a comment. I really appreciate your comments and um, give me a like and subscribe if you want to keep coming back and having a coffee chat every Wednesday. Take care.